In this video, I want to talk about how you add subdomains and add-on domains to your account. Well, what is a subdomain? Basically, a subdomain is like an annex to your regular domain. And it lets you keep part of your website separate from all the rest. Now, we've all seen subdomain URLs on the internet. You've all seen something like this, www.shoppingcart.yoursite.com Well, the shopping cart bit, the bit between the www and the .yoursite.com is actually the subdomain, and that is a separate part of the website. And subdomains can have all sorts of uses. Now, for example, let's say you want to have a Spanish language version of your website. You could have a subdomain like this. You could have www.espanol.mywebsite.com. And within that subdomain, you can have web copy in Spanish. You can have the prices in euros or pesos or whatever. And you would keep that completely separate from your main website, mywebsite.com, which would have the web copy in English and the prices in dollars. Now, add-on domains work in conjunction with subdomains. And they enable you to have more than one domain on your account. And you set up the name servers on GoDaddy or wherever you have your account hosted exactly the same as you do for your main account. But with an add-on domain, it will redirect that to a subdomain on your account. Now, staying with our Spanish example, you could register the domain name mywebsite.es, with .es, of course, being the domain extension for Spain. Add that on to your account as an add-on domain, and it will redirect to espanol.mywebsite.com. So it will redirect that to the Espanol subdomain on your website. I'm going to use cPanel for this demonstration, although if you have another type of control panel, the procedure is very similar. OK, I'm going to install a subdomain first, so come over here to where it says subdomains and click on the icon. And you'll see here there's the box where you can input your subdomain, and if you have more than one domain on your hosting account, you can choose from the drop-down menu. In this particular case, there's only one, so we're going to leave it at that. So, type in our subdomain. Let's call this shopping cart. And then just click in here in the box that says document root, and that will set up the document root. And this is a folder on your web server into which everything that's in your subdomain is going to be stored. So it's going to keep it separate from everything else that's on your domain on your server. So everything that's in the subdomain will be in the folder here, and everything that's in the folder will be under your subdomain. And that's all there is. Just simply click on this button here to create your subdomain, and you're good to go. Installing an add-on domain is quite similar. Click here on add-on domains. Now you input your new domain name. So let's stick with our earlier Spanish example and let's call this mywebsite.es. And you can see it automatically fills in the rest for you. So you've got the subdomain is going to be my website. And the document root is going to be public underscore HTML forward slash mywebsite.es. You need to type in your password. So let's just put that in. Or you can, if you like, use the password generator. Let's use that one. So I click on there. You can see it's generated a very strong password, so I need to highlight that, right click, and copy that so I can paste it into a notepad document and then save it on my hard drive. 
Once I've done that, click the box that says I've copied the password in a safe place and click on use password and there we go and then you simply click on this button here add domain and it will add it to your hosting account so now you can have two domains on one account without needing to have a separate hosting account